Hello Doctor Who fans, I am Doctor Who Commentator, here to give you my personal fan commentary of Doctor Who. But first, a few disclaimers before we start. I'm not affiliated with Doctor Who, I'm not affiliated with the BBC, I don't know anyone from Doctor Who. This is purely a fan commentary, this is just something I do for fun. And like I said, it's a commentary, not meant to be a review, but I think anyone who's actually bothered to watch this will, <laughs> my previous videos I mean, will know. I do tend to review quite a bit of time, and not very well. So, uh, so uh, with that out of the way, let's get started. And, uh, might I say, I did say last week, where, well, I said last week, took me a while to get that figure up, didn't it? But, say, I wasn't sure whether I'd like this episode or not, and turned out, I do like it, but it has its issues, which I'll get into. Turn it up a bit. So already we've got a creepy feel of a hotel room here. I do like that. Some say, oh, it's classic Doctor Who. Mm, not really. It's not really classic Doctor Who. I said some say, you know, I said Steve Moffat said. It's something that you feel should be Doctor Who, but hasn't really been what Doctor Who could be. I think this is actually a real improvement of Doctor Who. Ah, oh, that eye. Lots of people thought that that eye was the face of Bo, but no, it wasn't. It was the Minotaur. Here we go. A clown. Oh, clowns are creepy. That's Lucy Haywood. In the original script, however, she was supposed to be Lucy Miller, but they had to change that because of the Lucy Miller in in the audio series. It's funny. You don't know what's going to be in your room until you see it. Yes. Well, now I'm scared of high places. Yes. That's the distinct image of a man in a gorilla costume. That does not look like a gorilla whatsoever. The gaps between my worship are getting shorter. This is what happened to the others. That's right, they all started worshipping. It's all so clear now. I'm so happy. Praise him. Now she's finding religion. Yeah, that's one of these things. Like I said, I'll get into it. There's some bits he's... I mean... If you think Toby Whitehouse was being original with this episode, he wasn't. He was, frankly, ripping off two stories. One he kind of acknowledges ripping off at the end of the episode. Yeah, can't really say much here, can I? It's just the titles. Yeah, I'm sorry for all these noises I make. I am aware I make them. I can't really help it. People are 600 feet tall, you have to talk to them in hot air balloons, and the first information the center is made of one of their hats, he's... <laughs> I'm sorry, but... I do love that hats. idea of an alien, right? They do make most mentions of aliens th these days. How can you be excited about a rubbish hotel on a rubbish bit of Earth? Because... It's not Earth. This is not Earth. This has just been made to look like Earth. The craftsmanship involved. Can you imagine? What? Then where are we? I don't know. Something must be yanked us off the course. Look at the detail on that cheese plant. Cheese plant? Right, who would mock up an Earth hotel? It's a cheese plant. Recreating a bit of home like when Oh, oh well, let's see. Pubs in New York. This is something new. The doctor likes so, apples. Whoever did this, I'm taking his stroke. There's a Silurian yeah. in one of the pictures back there. There's Zontaran. What's the labels underneath? Commander Halk. Defeat. Tim Keith. Having his photo taken. Actually, that makes sense. <laughs> Being afraid of defeat. Photo taken, I can understand that. Fish barns, other people's socks. Tim Nelson balloons. Not his print, his neighbor wolves. Why is Tim McGold Plymouth? Lucy Hayward. 
That brutal gorilla. <laughs> Doctor, what does it mean? I don't know. Let's find out. Surely you would have got something by playing Dalek. We surrender. No, it's okay. We're not. We surrender. She sent me with a challenge. Who are you? Oh god, we're back in reception. We surrender. I've never been back with a challenge. Hang on, I tell a lie. Did you just say okay? We're nice. Okay, I need everyone to. There's David Williams. Everyone else has been in it. Besides which, if oh, she's clever. Oh, you're good. Oh, she's good. Amy, with regret. You're fired. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I take it from the pathological compulsion to surrender. You're from Tivoli. Yes, the most invaded planet in the galaxy. <laughs> Our anthem is called Glory 2. Insert name here. The really something to be proud of. You in the face, Howie. And you said you were surprised to be back in reception. The uh, walls move. Everything changes. You, clever one. Uh, was talking about. I'm the corridors twist and stretch. Oh, <laughs> the moment I saw Howie. Like first, I didn't know what to think of him. Then. You know, when you get over, I think, oh no, it's another whiz kid, isn't it? Look, the greatest show in the galaxy. I wasn't overly fond of whiz kid anyway. Whiz kid was really annoying and frankly an insult. This is almost just as bad. Right, big day for a fan of walls. It's not just that the rooms have things in them. Things? Hello! What kind of things? Interesting things. I love things. Ask anyone. Bad dreams. Well, that killed the mood. Bizarre kind of place. How did you get here? I don't know. I just started my shift. I must have passed out because suddenly I was here. Look, I was uh, blogging. Oh, well, I was at work. I'm in town planning. We're lining all the highways with trees, so invading forces can march in the shade. <laughs> oh, nice for them. Yeah. So what have we Love got? that idea. Oh, there an alien like race with perfectly happy to be invaded. Oh dear. Successfully getting the TARDIS out, so they. It's not easy. They always need to find ways to get rid of that task because it's too easy to s solve issues. I don't know how bad, but certainly we're three buses along walk and we a taxi from good. <laughs> Are there any more of you? Joe, but he's uh, tied up right now. <laughs> Doing what? No, I mean he's tied up right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, puppets. God, I've said before, I can't stand puppets. Small ones I can kind of be okay with, but creepy ones like that. And they all look like Jimmy Carr. Who certainly does look like a ventriloquist stomach. Oh, that's religion for me. We weren't ready. We yeah, I'm an atheist, by the way. But now you're what? Cooked, if you like. Soon you will be too. Be patient. First, find your room. My room. There's a room here for everyone, Doc. Mm. You can check out any time, but you can never leave. Nothing else matters anymore. Only him. It's like these things. I used to hate them. They make me laugh now. Why? <laughs> Why would those make you laugh? Got the gear, got the gear. <laughs> <They're> creepy. <laughs> I think you should come with me. The tape just keeps playing. Why are you for? I don't understand. 
Aside from all the other things I don't understand. What does it matter? Sooner or later, someone will come along and rescue us. Or enslave us. Either way. Quick thing before we go. If you tell John's a particular room, do not go in. Make sure someone else can see you at all times. Joe said he will feast. Is there something here? <laughs> Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Chop, 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 chop. That's from... <laughs> I was reading this earlier. That's from something... A poem, I think, called... Oranges and Lemons. School motto? <laughs> I love that. Resistance is exhausting. Complete... Pun on resistance is futile. Mountains. The Earth is on a collision course with this other planet. Yeah. This is where they're going to send the original when it kicks off. <laughs> Amazing. That's all there on the internet. No, it's amazing to come up with a theory even more insane than what's actually happening. Exactly. Who would honestly believe that sort of thing? Hello. You've forgotten your pee kit again. Ugh. Seems to be adapted very well for humans. Oh, girls. Jeez. If he's scared of... He's scared of girls. Why is he interested in those kind of girls anyway? They always say you should face your fears. So, if you're afraid of girls, you punch a woman in the face. For all those easily confused, that was a joke. <laughs> I don't honestly believe you should punch a woman in the face. <laughs> I mean, just realised. Well, when you get to the end, you realise what that whole place actually is, and just realised when you look at it, it's meant for an entire alien race. So. Why is it almost completely human? Uh, guys. Look. Hey. Whatever that is, it's not real, yeah? No, no, I'm sure it isn't, but just in case, let's run away and hide anyway. In That's mine, son. Ah! Uh. I found a. Why did they do that? I mean, the whole thing with the fireworks, and they don't really go back to it or anything. Mathematics, like lazy. Understand me, girls. Lazy. I'm sorry. Dirty. I'm sorry. That's a pause. You're that insecure. What a horrible father. <laughs> weeping angels. Link. What? They're weeping angels. They're dangerous. Yes. Yes, they would have they already got them. They should have got us by now. Hey, look at me. Focus on me. It's your bad dream, that's all. I don't even think they're for us. And looks uncannily like a particular monster from the old series. Gee, I wonder why that is. How did he get free like that? I just realized I don't understand how he could have possibly got free. Prison. 
It is kind of like Rusty Davis was writing this episode. To be fair. Good thing it wasn't. He would have probably made it worse. Almost too late for that. I did love all those car- How have they built those corridors? I just realised, I thought it was doing the whole Star Trek thing where they just went round and round in circles, but that can't be how it's working. <laughs> that was very Scooby-Doo. Oh, you noticed, just noticed that. He's dead. Joe sure. was right. Whatever it is in here, he actually wants to kill us. Not oppress us or enslave us, kill us. Listen. He's only used to being enslaved. The doctor has been part of my life for so long now. And he's never let me down. Even when I thought he had when I was a kid and he left me. He came back. He saved me. Did he? And Did he really? You. But don't tell me that that physically the smugness would be terrifying. Of course, if the weeping angels were meant for me, oh. in your room is still out there. Somewhere. Ugh, charming. In the first ever story, uh, come the unearthly, yeah, the unearthly child. He does say he's not a doctor of medicine. Then you know, and then in New Earth, he says he knows a bit about medicine. I heard you talking when you arrived. And uh, I'm sure there are some class stories. I do remember somewhere he is assisting in an operation. So. You're a Muslim. Don't be frightened. <laughs> Do you think this is hell? The whole 80s hotel thing took me by surprise, eh? And all these fears and phobias wandering about, most of them could go to us, so why are they still here? <sighs> Maybe the cleaners have gone on strike. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you're right to have a clock. But this isn't hell, Reed. You don't understand, I say that without fear. Johanna will play its tricks and there'll be times when I want to run and scream. But I've tried to live a good life and that knowledge keeps me sane despite the monsters and the bonkers rooms. Gibbous is an alien, isn't he? Yeah. I've never heard of someone gargling tea before. Okay, I'm going to file that under yep. freak out about later. Gibbs is, a Doctor, Gibbs is an alien, you didn't get that? I found it in a corridor, I completely forgot I had it. Yeah, it might be something you want to mention very quickly. Uh, my name is Lucy Hayward. And I'm the last one left. Yes, we've heard all this. Took me the first. We got him on his first day, almost as soon as we arrived. It's you funny, it's always going to be in your room until you see it. You realise it could never have realise it could never have been anything else. I just saw mine. It was a gorilla from a book I'd read as a kid. God, that thing used to terrify me. The gaps between my worship. It's very neat, Howie. Oh, 
instructions. This is what happened to the elves. And how lucky they were. It's all so clear. I'm so happy. Praise him. Praise him. Oh. Praise him. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not a screwdriver. Look, whatever it is out there, it's obviously chosen Howard as his next course. Now, and tragic though that is, this is no time for sentiment. I'm saying if we were to find him, it may be satisfied and let the rest of us go. No, it won't. All I want to do is go home and be conquered and oppressed. Is that too much to ask? It's okay, I'll stay with Howard. You take the others and go. No, we stay together. Yeah. Be brave. Your civilization is one of the oldest in the galaxy. And I'm sitting here right now and I've only just noticed one thing. I didn't put the f my makeshift spotlight on. I'm so sorry for that. This is going to get blurred again, isn't it? Well, this is meant to be a commentary. Do anyone on his planet die? When? I mean, surely when his planet gets invaded, they must surely die in some way. When it does, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please try to answer. Oh, there's they're meant to be cowards. Yeah, I was completely talking through Gibbs' planet. It's possessed him again. That's not it. Say a prayer, think of a basket of kittens, but do not give in to the fear. Okay, but what do we How does Gibbs know about kittens? We're gonna catch ourselves a monster. Bring me death! Bring me glory! My master! My lord, I'm here! Come to me! There's a cell. Do you really need a water feature in a cell? Yeah, I've never been in a cell and I don't know. Yep. How did Theseus... I, I don't really remember the story of Theseus. I learned about it in junior school, I don't remember anything from that time. Clown. I mean, whole point is that the hotel is meant to be like a maze, but constantly changes. Is there mirrors? Something that involves mirrors in the story of Theseus? Why is the tune just tone just changed? His love was beacon that led me from darkness to light, and now I am blinded by his majesty. Ugh. Humbled by his glory. Praise quite enough of that. Yes. Why is it suddenly gone? Calm down, Howard. This is just for your own good. 
got at least stand where I can see you. I've been told not to speak to you. Yeah, it's not very trustworthy. Listen. Very personal. I just think we should take things slow. I don't think it's him. Did you say they take? Ah, uh, what is that word? The, the, the guard? No, the warden. This is a prison. You were right. Doesn't make much sense, though. I mean, what have they done? If you hand me over, he'll leave you alone. You thought we thought how that idea got shot down in flames. <laughs> it's not like kicking me out of a plane to light him alone. I've only just realised. Gibbs it. speaks English. Now, granted, the Tarnis would probably be translating, but but how did it, he know English before the Tarnis arrived? Who's he referring to? Then tell me, tell me how to fight. Yeah, but considering what his alien race is, seems a bit much. Oh, he's reacting again. I still don't know what he's doing with her. Why he's even with her. Rory, you right? Yes, he's fine. Number seven people realise was Amy's age when she first met the doctor. Yes. She's pretty sensible. I will say however I do love the design of the Minotaur. That is such an amazing costume. It does truly look like an animal and not... It actually, that's what I mean, it actually looks like an animal and not just a man in a suit. Is angry. If I leave this alone now, maybe now we'll be safe. Wait! No, his pictures there. Have you found your room yet? No. Is that good or bad? I'd say that's good. Maybe I'm not scared of anything. Well, after all the time I spent with you in the TARDIS, what was left to be scared of? You said that in the past tense. What well, was left? No, I didn't. What does he mean by that, though? You know, Getting a bit, I'm still a bit confused by that. Speech therapy just got over this massive stammer. 
won't achieve the thinking you imagine. I mean there wasn't anything left to be scared. Jadoon. Jadoon are frightened of things? We can understand Zontaro's being afraid of defeat, but you do. Losing the mark oh, yeah. Criminal role? Good, good. So I'm literally an otter's toenail away from getting us out of here. <laughs> Why? Excellent question. Excellent question. Why? <laughs> Why is it up to you to save us? Like, because he so can. What complex you have there? Hmm. I brought them here. Interesting fact for Doctor Who fans. The last episode of Sylvester McCoy's era was an episode called Survival. And there was meant to be another series after that, but that's when the hiatus started, and the hiatus was only meant to be for a year or two. Of course, it ended up being about 16 years. The point I'm trying to make here is that that ser the series it would have been after. In fact, the his last series, they were making all these hints to who he might be. Some of those, granted, are in deleted scenes. But, this was all to lead up to the next series, which would in fact reveal the Doctor himself is a Time Lord deity. I should say, I'm not particularly fond of that idea. I'm not saying, I remember watching that documentary on DVD thinking, a brilliant story of the Doctor being a deity. No, it wouldn't. He's way overpowered if he, you make him a deity. Number 11, as in the 11th Doctor. Door number 11, I mean. There he is. Opening his door. And that's not the TARS engine, that's the cloister bell. That's obviously going to have a lot of theories going around, and my theory is that it's the terrible Zodin. Simply because the terrible Zodin is this character who has only ever been mentioned, even in the novels, has only ever been mentioned. We've never seen her. And, frankly, if we consider the Doctor like a Sherlock Holmes character, which Terence Dix has always thought of him as, then I think we consider the terrible Zodin as the uh, the Doctor's Irene Adler. Irene Adler, who in Sherlock Holmes is the only the f person to defeat Holmes. No, wait, sorry, not the only person, the first person to defeat Holmes. It was in the first story call called The Scandal in Bohemia. And, well, I said she defeated him. The Doctor is commonly defeated by women. Uh, Sherlock is commonly defeated by women. So I will. So I think what he saw was the terrible Zodin. We'll find a way to stop it. I swear. No, I need to get as far away from you as possible. No, 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 you don't. The creature only wants to have us praising you. And then you'll put yourself in its way. I'm coming to get you. Block out the fear and stay focused on your belief. The hotel will keep us apart. I could be fifty miles away by now. I want you to do me one last favor, Doctor. It's coming. I feel the rapture approaching like a wave. I don't want you to witness this. I want you to remember me the way I was. What's going on? We just disappeared. So they can conveniently not have to show anything gory. Richard, please. Let me find you. You stay where you are. Please let me be robbed of my faith in private. Look, Richard. Are you being robbed of faith? Go into the room. Lock the door. I'm not frightened. I'm blessed, Doctor. I don't do it. No. This isn't what you think. Rita! You're my doctor. Rita! Thank you for trying. Rita, please! 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 You.
is Gibbs eating a fish. Let's free it. Blimey, he's angry. Now he knows what it is. It's not fair. It's faith. Not just religious faith, faith in something. How do you think the conspiracies that external forces control the world? Joe had dice cuffings and a chain with a horseshoe you were the gambler. Gamblers believe in luck and intangible. Yeah, faith. This is getting very close to what I was talking about being ripped off. For the next batch of invaders to oppress him and tell him what to do. They all believe there's something guiding them about to save him. That's what it replaces. Every time someone was confronted with their most primal fear, they fell back on their most fundamental faith. All this time, I have been telling you to dig deep. To find the thing that keeps you brave. I made you expose your faith. You showed them what they needed. But why us? Why are we here? Doesn't want you. That's why I kept showing you a way out. You're not religious or superstitious, so there's no faith for you to fall back on. No. Who wants her? Me. Frank's... Why? Your faith in me. In Gibbs. Tell you won't be affected because... He knows said. that nothing's going to invade him. It's coming. Oh, God, that was so much like Christine Chancy in Red Dwarf. I just said, I want his babies. There's little Amy, played by Karen Gillian's cousin. Don't do what's happening, it's Jamie, it's Jamie, my thoughts. I can't save you from this, there's nothing I can do to stop this. I stole your childhood and now I've led you by the hand to your death. But the worst thing is I knew, I knew this would happen, this is what always happens. <laughs> Ugh. Well, there it is, the complete rip-off from The Curse of Fenric. Anyone who knows the classic series knows that brilliant scene, that classic scene, rather, where the Doctor makes Ace lose her faith in the Doctor through this, almost this exact same thing. No, it just keeps changing back between older Amy and younger Amy. I'm not a hero. I really am just a madman in a box. <laughs> and it's time we yeah. saw each other as we really are. It is a lovely scene, I will give it that. <laughs> now, the Minotaur is dying from losing one meal. Oh. 
You'll probably notice it's got a bit brighter. Yeah, it's because the sun's come out. God, it is really bright now. Okay, there we go. It's all falling apart now because of the Minotaur. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. The, the Minotaur is purpose who really just wants to die. I don't quite understand why the hotel disappeared with that. And the fact that we now reveal from that I said that it's actually a prison. So why is it a very So why was it a, a, a human hotel? I'm gonna keep quiet. Cousin of the Nymon, they descend on planets and set themselves up as gods to be worshipped, which is fine until the inhabitants get all secular and advanced enough to build bonkers prisons. <laughs> Correct. Ah. Oh. So he wasn't completely, space. wasn't completely paying attention to this. It's all automated. It through space, snatching people with belief systems and converts their faith into food for the creature. See that planet there? Oh, so that's where it was. There you are there. I was a bit confused about that prison prison ship. Now I understand it. Uh, what did they what did they do to get it in prison? It wasn't they were just trying to feed it. Of course, we know the doctor's gonna die. Well. I wasn't talking about myself. Ooh. And of course, we know the doctor is gonna die later. I want to go back to his own planet. Don't tell me. This isn't Earth, that isn't a real house. And inside looks a goblin who feeds on indecision. Nope. Real house. Real doggy. You're not serious. The car, too. He's giving them a house. That's my favourite car. How did the doctor get all that for? Show me a picture of one says, that's my favourite car. Sorry, um... She'll say that we can't accept it because it's too and We'll always feel a crippling sense of obligation. Good. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Hey. Leaving, aren't you? Of course he is. Everything lost for me. <laughs> Bad Penny is my middle name. Seriously, the looks I get when I fill in a form. <laughs> Why now? So now we know his middle name is Bad Penny. Breathing. Well, I think this is about the washing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, I thought 
heaps of stuff out there to look at. Do you know, there's a planet whose name literally translates as volatile sex. <laughs> Or maybe there's a bigger, scarier adventure waiting for you in there. <laughs> Even so, it can't happen like this. I've sure, it can. We've been through, Doctor. Everything. You can't just drop me off at my house and say goodbye like you shared a cab. What's the alternative? Me standing over your grave. Over your broken body, over Rory's body. You know that's not going to happen. You bump into my door. Tell her to visit her home sometime. <laughs> Look after you. She's never really got to look after her daughter the way she wanted. That's that though. He's gone. What's she doing? He's saving us. Yeah, and we have to wait for two episodes. Really, for two weeks after, really realize why. Overall, I do, I do like this episode. I thought it was a very good episode. I will say that. And next week will be the Cybermen. But you're gonna have to wait a while for me to make a commentary on that. I'll explain later. Hello, Craig. <laughs> That's Craig again. What are you here for? I'm the doctor. I work in a shop now. <laughs> It's going to be dangerous and alien. It's the Cybermen! Not too fond of those Cybermen, but maybe they'll be a bit better. Right, so I've been Doctor Who commentator. Uh, you know that. What is, what's more important is that I won't be doing one, uh, one of these commentaries next week. And maybe not the week after that, because I'm going to be in Japan for quite a long time. I'm going to record the two episodes, the next two episodes. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I am Doctor Who commentator. I have Core 23 and Omega One on Doctor Who World. Goodbye.